perfect. The king will be delighted. Right, I'm next to the Minister of the Interior and the Bishop of Durham. Hmm. Who have you got? I don't know. Probably someone who doesn't speak any English and someone stone deaf so I don't cause any offence. I'm nearly insulted. Right, Rich. Uh, how could I possibly think about tomorrow's banquet when we're about to go to the opera? I'm just too excited. I just don't think I can do it. Seriously, I think my body might actually be allergic to opera. Fine. Tell Daddy that, dare you. Ma'am. Thank you so much. Wicked. No way. Shut Isabel. up. Isabel. Oh, I just have to talk to my brothers one sec. Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not able to make it tonight. Exams and, like, I'm totally stressed out. It's just, look, enjoy, yeah? Wicked. I would love to. That sounds amazing. I hear he's pretty good, Daddy. especially Daddy. for Wagner. Poppy. I've had the most delicious idea. So I thought we should do a joint visit to the RNC. <laughs> it's one of my favourite charities. It's so wonderful. Your Majesty. Ma'am. I am sorry. I was hoping to borrow the Prince of Wales. We're just off to enjoy four hours of Wagner, Abigail. Yes, ma'am. And while I can appreciate the lure, I have just received a call from Sister Assumpter at the Innocence Housing Project. Oh, yes. We were trying to find a convenient time for the Prince to visit the homeless shelter without attracting any press attention, and she felt that tonight was the perfect opportunity. Sister Assumpter? Yes, ma'am. She was really pinning her hopes on the Prince of Wales' appearance. Uh, and Prince George. As well, ma'am. It is a very worthy charity, ma'am. Yeah. I'll break it to the king. Thank you, ma'am. Is there a problem? Well, darling, it seems as there's <laughs> Sister Assumpter, complete bloody genius. I knew she'd get us out of it. You're a star. Yes, sir. Well, don't give us the look. It's opera. It's a fact. Birds singing the same line over and over. I've arranged for a change of clothes to be in the car. I assume you're going to the club afterwards. Yeah, it's going to be massive. Well, hang on. Does that mean we actually have to go to the shelter? Yes, sir. You have to be a prince for a whole half hour. Look, get in. You're not cross with me, really. Not at all, sir. Helping you shirk your responsibilities is what I was born to do. <laughs> Stop this for a game of billiards. Let's move on to... Yeah, yeah. Tequila! Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> I'm going for a slash. You sort it out. So, who fancy the late-night tour of the palace? Hello? Hello? No, no, sorry. I, I can't hear you. All right, sorry about that. Go on. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, I understand. You okay, Peter? You need to come with me, sir. Why? I'll explain in the car. No, tell me. Who was that? That was the Deputy Assistant Commissioner. So what? It's Tower Bridge. I'm very, very sorry. Your Majesty.
sir. Your Majesty. Ian, is it? Yes, I'm very sorry. Your Majesty. The, um... Prime Minister is on his way to offer his support and pledges fidelity. Talk to the controller and the Lord Chamberlain and arrangements for the funeral are underway. We'll have your father's body brought here tonight and then move to St. James. Books of condolence will be set up on the Mall, Kensington, Victoria. Okay, okay, where's my mother? The Queen's on her way. All of your family should be here within the hour, sir. Your Majesty. Yeah. Uh, look, can you get me a Red Bull or just a Coke or something? Right away, sir. From tomorrow, you'll receive ambassadors and high commissioners from the Commonwealth. There are also calls. The President of the United States oh, as well. I don't, I don't want... It's OK. You don't have to speak to any of them tonight. Any, any of them? Who? Well, the usual. His Holiness the Pope, the Archbishop of Canterbury, of course, the President of the French Republic. Right, I just need a slash. Right. What's next? The Prime Minister. Your Majesty, I am so sorry. Your father was a great man. Yeah, he was something else. He, he used to always... Prime Minister, you ready? Faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty the King, his heirs and successors according to law, so help you well. You all right? Just about. He seems okay. Yeah. You'll be, uh... Yeah. So, who's just become the King's page of the back stairs then, eh? I don't know, but I have a sneaking feeling he's now talking to the King's valet. <laughs> Very sad. Awful. Just... Hey, um, Johnny, right? Jimmy, sir. Yeah, I think we could uh, all do with a drink. Of course, sir. Make sure they're stiff ones. Oh, yeah, well, the nation mourns the royal family gets plastered. Brilliant. Treble for her. As much as you can get in the glass and go easy on the tonic. Are you sure you don't want a bit of puff, George? Maybe something a bit stronger? No, no. Poppy. Don't call me that. Daddy called you Poppy. Exactly. James. Yes, ma'am. Lime, not lemon. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Uh, are we going to talk about this at all? Uh, uh, am I the only one that's a little bit worried? Rich? King? Actually, I'd prefer a white wine, something dry. Mummy, for God's sake. I'm sorry. I love my brother. Yeah. I love my brother. But surely we're all just a little bit worried about this, are we not? I mean, Rich opening Parliament. Rich visiting Australia. Well, we'll have to look after him. Yes, darling. And you'll have to get used to a little less time in the spotlight. Excuse me? James, why are you still here? Now, let's see if we can all remember how to behave, shall we? I want some olives. I want some bloody olives. And no one ever asked me what I think about anything. No, no. Well, my darling boy, it's all yours now.
How long have you been queuing? Eight hours. Eight, eight hours. hours. Oh, and you came all the way from Durham. We did, yes. Well, I'm sure my father would have been deeply touched. You should be the queen. I'm sorry? You should be queen. Me? Queen? Yes, Mum. Oh, I'm sure my brother will make a wonderful king. But you're the oldest, the best one. That's very kind of you to say so. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. Mm, you don't have to do this. I can do this alone. No, Ian's right. I, I should. Uh, you talk to Mummy. She seems weird. Not out here. Even if Mike doesn't pick us up, they'll have lip readers on us? Yes, of course. Look, I'll do all this. Uh, you can get out of here. No, I don't mind. I quite enjoy it. No, no, go on. Uh, have a break. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you very much. Try to get you an appointment with your brother. His Majesty's page is getting back to me. He's going to help himself to your favourite charities, he's going to pull rank, shove you aside, and he's never shown any interest in any of this. I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm out of line. Mm. You're frustrated. Ma'am, may I speak frankly? Of course. You should be Queen. You should. You're the oldest child, the most able, charismatic, the hardest working, is what your father would have wanted. But Simon, my brother, is king. Yes, but if people could only see how obviously wrong he is and how you are so... You know how I'll always be loyal to my king. And how I could never, ever do anything to hurt my brother. So that accounts for section C, D and E. Good. Oh, uh, hang on. What about the Duke of Blexley? Ah, uh, yes. Next. The coronation. Now, I don't want to tread on the Earl Marshal's toes, and it is, of course, eight months away. So why don't we discuss it another time? Y yes, sir. After the funeral, we shall move you into your new apartments. I believe they're removing your father's belongings now. What? It all has to be archived, sir. You're touching his stuff? It will be sent to Windsor. These are important historical documents. No, they're my father's. <laughs> Everybody out. Sent you to sweeten me up. It's all I'm good for. Where's the family? They've all returned to Windsor. Your mother needed some attention. Right, well, I'm going to Windsor then. Yes, sir. I'll make sure a car takes you there just as soon as you've seen the ambassador. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. I get it. I'm sorry. When my mother died, it hit. It, it hit me much harder than I ever admitted. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. How are you now? Well, I smile a lot, but inside I'm in bits, so... I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you, sir. Who knows that we skipped the homeless shelter and went straight to the club? No one who'll tell. 
Would you give me five minutes? I'll do everything I'm meant to, just five minutes. Of course, sir. Hey, it's me. I'm really sorry about your father. Yeah, look, can you get over here? I'm not sure that can happen. I, I know. Well, I'll, I'll make it happen, please. Abby! Hi, Abby. Oh, hey, Simon. Hi. Uh, fancy a drink? Bit busy, mate. Oh, I see. Too busy for me now. Oh, well, there's some funeral in Westminster Abbey tomorrow morning, but apart from that, yeah, the diary's completely oh, empty. Oh, come on. Everyone's moping around, and you look like you could do with a break. I've got a meeting on the outside. Sorry. Hot date. Don't start getting all cute now I work for the king. So you think I'm cute? Bye-bye. No, seriously, we should talk. About how Princess Eleanor could help. Over lunch. Suddenly really, really busy. Working dinner? Nice and discreet. Mm. Congratulations. Relax. No one's interested in you. Not yet. I was thinking champagne. Okay. I mean, a book about the drunken Prince of Wales will always do good business, but a what's an all expose on the king? Our book is going to be mega. Yeah. You're quiet. Oh! It's just a bit mental in there. The Lady Clarks keep bursting into tears. The Lady Clarks. Oh, I love it. Are they as upset as the page of the presents and the keeper of the privy purse? <laughs> Our order is a bottle. Oh, what you're doing, it's amazing. It's brave and it's... You're shining a light on the monarchy. You know, when you walked in and you looked a bit quiet, I thought, oh, God, she's got cold feet. And then I thought, shit, she wants more money. <laughs> Jimmy! Oh. Jimmy, wake up. Ruby, for God's sake. I've run out of gin. And it's your turn. I'm asleep. Bugger off. Ruby! We hid a stash somewhere downstairs after the deal with the English cricket team. Hey, Jimmy. Nice pants. I'm sorry, Miranda. I shouldn't have called you in. It was just a wobble, and I'm fine. And everything's going to be just great. If someone just said, get ready, it'll happen in a year's time, a week even, it's just... I just don't feel like a king. Get up. Hmm? Go on, get up. Go sit there. <sighs> Go on. Mm. <laughs> Go on. There. Your king. See? It's easy. Nothing to it. It's like falling off a very posh log. She had dark hair, nice eyes for a girl. Did he say what she sounded like? Did she say anything? I think her mouth was full at the time. 
She's not telling me everything, I bet. I don't think they were just kissing. Ridiculous. And money would have heard long before you said it, Ronnie. Well, you don't know everything. Especially not these days. Excuse me. We all love Queen Charlotte, of course. But now we've got a new king. So maybe you and she don't know everything these days, do you? There is no way His Majesty would do anything like that. Oh, darling boy, you're new. When you have my experience, you'll find it all comes to you. It's like a sixth sense. Yeah, but are you sure? Apparently, he was in the poodle position. No, because I'm the bloody valet, and he tells me everything. Everything? Not the fact they did it four times. Wiki, who's the lucky girl? I don't know, mate, but apparently she goes on a train. <laughs> what? There's Jimmy now. Not what Jimmy The Sun have a palace insider who claims that last night His Majesty and a mystery woman were bonking each other's brains out non-stop for seven hours. Did nearly every position in the Kama Sutra on the bloody throne. I mean... I'm gonna find this palace insider and break the bloody legs. There goes the honeymoon period! I was not. It's a lie. Am I really so stupid I'd do it in the bloody throne room? Sometimes the crazier the story, the more people buy it. I take it there was a young lady, sir. They're delaying the splash because of the funeral, but they won't wait long. We need to prepare a strongly worded denial. Why bother to deny it? It's beneath us. Ian, it's the first story they have about him as king. It sets the tone. So does manipulating the press. Once we start spinning... Do you know what they're going to say? It's going to be vicious. Something like, what a right royal dick or royal member gets a new job. Bonking and palace. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Abigail. Crown jewels get a fresh polish. My penis mirabilis. Oh, for God's sake, will we please remember where we are? Oh, the sun won't! Sir, we need to spike the story and find whoever leaked this. We could give them the girl. The girl that was with you. And they go after her. She becomes the story. No. May I ask who the young lady is? No, and don't even think about trying to find out, or I'll bury you. I need to prepare for my father's funeral. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We're meant to be paying our respects to Daddy, and our brother's already cocking it up. It's just another story for the comics. Half the country will be thinking, what a lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, and the other half want to burn us at the stake. That's witches, sweetheart. They cut our heads off. With Eleanor, you'd probably have to do both. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one? Am I the only bloody one? Come on, then. right beside you. You just think about Daddy. You know, I was always uh, scared of him. 
Yeah, some twat is uh, probably going to tell me that I'm in denial, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to miss him at all. Just scared the pants off me. You'll be like that. Oh, shut up. Rich, people have been scared of you since you started shaving. I'm not like him. Well, you certainly proved that last night. Let's do a round next week. Pop up to Scotland, do 18, and then get some jet skis. <laughs> like we did that time. God, do you remember? <laughs> when you nearly killed that old fisherman, I thought we were going to get strung up. Whatever happens, whether we deny it or not, they'll run the story, yeah? Y yes, sir. Today, they all stared at me, walking behind his coffin. And when the story breaks, they'll just think... OK, I want to show the people who I really am. Show them I'm not just a kid who just shags around, and I want to do that in a live television interview. No hiding, no secrets. We'll get them to ask me what happened last night so I can break the story in my own way, explain it, and stop the sun having exclusive. Now, look, I know this is risky, but I want to do this. I want it to happen. And you're going to make it happen. Oh, great. Well, that's thanks. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> yes, Mr. Henry. It, it, uh, does it have to be live? Of course it has to be bloody live. John T? I'm worried it'll backfire. Oh, yeah, because I have never faced a camera, never talked to the press. Well, not without the chance to cut or re-edit. That, that's the point. All right. Your Majesty, is it true that you've had sex with over 300 women? On which tour? New York or Madrid? <laughs> no, no, I'm just... Oh, come on, that's for you. It's a joke. You can't joke when it's live. They'll ask about your girlfriend. Yeah, fine. About screwing her on the throne? I wasn't. Well, you'll want to say what, but you were just holding hands? You think they'll let you do that? I'll deal with it. They'll dig up all those old stories about you, make you explain yourself over and over, and they'll find some new ones too. Well, bring it on. They'll compare you to your father, make you look like a kid. They'll make you lose your temper, make you say but things. Jaunty. I'll brief you night and day, do mock interviews, ask all sorts of questions. But please, sir, please, don't risk it. I want to. Jaunty's right. No, he's not. With respect, no, Shut sir. up, Ian, for God's sake! I know what I'm doing. I can handle these people, and I won't just suddenly... lose it. Gosh, oh, shit! I won't, and I'll be fine. Abigail, what do you think? I think you'll be brilliant, sir. Thank you. Well, there we are, then. Brilliant. Brilliant? We're letting His Majesty the King discuss his sex life on live television with a complete stranger, and you think it's brilliant? What was I supposed to say? He needed me to support him. I had to say that. And... You never know. You never know. <laughs> I'm going to talk to the Prime Minister. He is going to love it. Ma'am? Tell me everything. Tiger, we're here to shoot your governor. Right, we do 15 minutes here, then you can talk me through how we're going to sell hospital cuts to The Guardian. Oi, Miranda, coming on up. I know you're advising him as best you can, Ian, but this is still a pretty bloody lousy idea. His Majesty knows his own mind. Well, we all know how loyal you are, Ian. I just didn't want to be the PM who watched the monarchy hang itself and didn't try to warn them. And from a press point of view, this is horrific. Thanks. Live. 
Anyway, who is this dim tart he's supposed to be shagging? Teddy, uh, enjoying this a little too much. I know it's just a newspaper headline, but if he buggers this up tonight, he might never regain the nation's confidence. I mean, he'd always be tricky, dicky. Yeah, we've been there. I bet you have. How difficult is it for him and his bird to tie a knot in it, keep it in their pants? Who've they got to interview him? Joanna Woodward. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Talk him out of it. She had me alive last time. We have been working on questions. And she flayed the skin off my back. The king's determined. You know, she made Gaddafi cry. Can't you go with the BBC? I mean, get somebody sold. Yeah, with ITV, we have some measure of control. If they play dirty, they blow the chance of ever getting his Christmas broadcast. You think you're going to make it till Christmas? Good luck, Ian. We'll certainly be watching, won't we, Miranda? It's quite nice in here, isn't it? <laughs> you wait. Not bad. Tell you what, though, when I worked on the Bond, we shot in the Grand Palace, Bangkok. Now that's impressive. Yeah, don't look all right. Yep. Do you have time for your sister, sir? Yeah, go on. Yeah. All right, just give us a minute, would you know? No, don't. Not when we're alone. Oh, Rich. You're king whether we're alone or not. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, good luck. Come here. Are you all set? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Good. Well, I'm, um, you know, she never actually says anything, unless it's laced in arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only ones who know what it's like to be the circus, to face the cameras alone, to uphold our daddy's memory. Did he ever, Carl, you were so much closer to him than me. Did he ever no, say... No, 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 I s forget about him. Well, I should have been there. Oh, Rich! You were visiting a homeless centre. You can hardly beat yourself up. But I didn't. Can you? George and I just buggered off to the club and. Do you really think I'm going to screw this up? No. No. I just wish you'd spoken to me first. <laughs> you know I'll always be here to pick you up, don't you? Hmm? hmm? Uh, basically, a power shot or building like this. What do you expect? I think your boss had put his hand in his pocket to fix it, though. Hello. 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 Uh, this is going to be great. I've spoken I know. to Joanna. Johnny, enough now. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Joanna. Your Majesty. You have some reputation. So do you, sir. <laughs> Shall we? Absolutely. Are you going to beat me up, Joanna? No. <laughs> I'm a softie. Five, four, three... Good evening, and welcome to Buckingham Palace. I'm Joanna Woodward, and tonight it is my great honour to talk to one of the most famous men on the planet. Whether for his role as monarch, or for his ability to drink 13 flaming sambucas in an evening. I'm talking, of course, about His Majesty King Richard. Oh, well done. Yeah. Come on, sir! Now, you insisted on this interview being filmed live. Why is that? Uh, well, Joanna, I felt it was important to give people a better sense of their new king. And I wanted to do it live to show that I'm not trying to spin my image or manipulate what I say. Well, I'm sure. Not I in our day, ma'am. I say that's a wonderfully brave and open gesture. Thank you. Good man, good man. Is it true that you spiked a News of the World story that claimed that you'd been begging your sister, Princess Eleanor, to become queen in your place? <laughs> uh, gosh, I, I, uh, 
I'm sure the news of the world have some wonderful tales, but I can promise you the last thing my sister wants is to be queen. Mm. So now what would you Go say rich. to um... a single mother of four living on a tough housing estate? What would she make of your performance tonight? Oh, John, I think it's a little unfair. This isn't a performance. But she must see you, she must hear everything you've been saying, like, for instance, that you only cost each taxpayer the equivalent of a Kit Kat, and... but she's still broke and you're still living in luxury. Uh, well, I would try and explain that um, just as Ian. a judge mm -hmm. wears a You're holding my hand. hand. Statement, he represents the law. So oh, well, sorry, sorry. people in this palace, which is owned by the people, not me. And I do it because I represent the crown. When did you discover this sudden devotion to the people? Uh, when my father died. Your father's death didn't stop you bringing your lover into the palace in the boot of a car, or then having sex with her in the throne room, did it? No, uh, I have to confess, I do still have a love life. Um, however salacious you wish to make the details. And who is she? And I am learning, uh, single man or not, that my uh, behaviour has to change. By the way, what is a Kit Kat? <laughs> he stole my line! Oh, well, I'm, I'm serious! Oh, you could charm the nation, sir. <laughs> oh, Joanna, you should be careful. You're in danger of being nice to me. <laughs> what would you say to a quite rational argument in defence of the monarchy, that it's a necessary figurehead? Wouldn't you say that people are right when they say that... Uh, May I speak to the president? producer, please? I tell them it's class house. And be the choice of the people. Well, no, I don't agree. And, well, this is a political matter and something that I can't get involved in. Great answer. <laughs> so who wrote your script for tonight? Oh, Joanna, come on. This is a live interview. We both oh, know it's come live. Come on. We know the real you. Caught with your pants down. A bottle in one hand and the crown jewels in the other. I'm sorry, I'm sure you're not used to being spoken to like this by your servants. I don't have any servants. Footmen, then. Butlers, valets, oh, pages, porters, a whole entourage. Come on. I thought we were being open. No spin, you said. Uh, my image is spun every day by tabloid gossip. Every story about you is untrue. No, no, not all. So which ones are true, then? Your Majesty. Come on, so which of these nasty press stories about you gives us the real you? Which of these stories which do you think would have upset your father the most? What did your father think of you? I never... I never got the chance to ask him. Because you weren't there. When he died. You were out at a nightclub. While your sister and mother... What did. do you want? Just the truth. No, no. You want... You want me to be both common and royal. You want me to lead you as head of state and then trip up so you can stuff me on the cover of Heat magazine. I love getting drunk, okay? I love it. Clubbing, dancing, all of it. I've tried drugs. I make a fool out of myself most of the time and I've hurt people just to bury stories about me. I am ashamed and terrified. I'll never live up to my father's standards. I just want to hide, get drunk again, scream from the roof and most days I feel like a little boy, a fool. But I love my country. And whether it's in Cardiff or in Edinburgh or just driving over the Pennines, I have this incredible buzz. I couldn't be more proud. And I hope one day I can repay the favour. Your Majesty, thank you for your candour. That was all right, wasn't it? Train wreck, right? Sky ran a poll straight afterwards. Asked the question, will Richard make a good king? 53% said yes. Oh, so we're not dead yet. Not yet, sir. <laughs> I know I've always treated you like... Oh, you know, always getting me in and out of parties and stuff. Stuff. Quite a lot of stuff, wasn't there? Your Majesty, <laughs> you were fantastic. God, I was glued to my seat, wasn't I, Simon? I was glued. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Thank you. 
I'll try and book in to see you soon. And well done again. Wow. Thanks, darling. <laughs> Only 53% said yes. So 47 already on our side. Mm. I need to find the lover. He's very protective of her. How do you get on with Abigail? Very well. Mm. He's got a soft spot for her. She'll be the one with the secrets. Go for her. Yes, ma'am. He's not... She's not the lover, is she? Of course, Simon. We don't do stuff. You are funny. <laughs> I need you around. You're straight with me, honest. If I'm gonna have a chance in hell, then I'll need you with me. You'll be there, right? Yes, sir. Good. Neil. Mr. Roberts. Hello. I thought you'd be up there with him. No, I wanted to spend some time with you. Did I ever tell you that I once had a drunken snog with Felicity Knight of the Sun? Now, if I was Felicity, I'd have been grooming you for some time. Casual meeting, by accident, in a bar. Then tickets for a club, a film premiere. All because your mates champagne every time you meet. And then the offer, just the truth. A chance to tell his side of things. Never meant to be a betrayal. The way she put it, she already knew about the stuff with him and the girl. It was only when I tried to correct her that I realized she was bluffing and that I'd given it to her on a plate. I was trying to explain that he was stressed and that he's human. And that he's going to be a wonderful king. I'm so ashamed. Yeah. First thing, you're not going to tell anyone about this. But you're going to let Felicity know that you're up for selling other stories to her. But I'll tell you what to say and when. OK, sir, yes, sir. That way, you get to keep your job. But if I ever do need the inside track on what His Majesty's planning or thinking, you'll be happy to tell me. Won't you, Neil? Bloody brother. Oh, yeah. Come on in, come yeah. in. It's lager o'clock. Uh, we're saving up the empty bottles to throw out the piper at dawn. Hey, did you get my text, mate? I just wanted to say I thought it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> we're not standing in the doorway like a bloody page. Come on in, you fool. No, I, I just wanted to check you were OK. Of course I'm OK. I'm George. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rich. Now you're the big man. Any chance of giving me Scotland? <laughs> 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 